My name is Santanam. I am Santanam. Since 2016, I am not very really active in my professional life. I was a good swimmer, I was a good cyclist, I was a good runner, and all that. That was the journey I had initially. Then this uh, cancer issue, simply I could not imagine that I would get cancer because I'm a teetotaler as I mentioned. I was having cough and phlegm. This is the one symptom which I had. For about uh, a little over a month, I was having it. And then I just got it treated by a local doctor, my family doctor. So this journey was going on for about six months. In fact, I, when I came here, even looking at my x-ray, Dr. Padma Sundaram looked at my uh, x-ray and said that I have tumor in the lung. It's a small, small almond type, not much big, very small, but it is there. Since I went to my family doctor, he could not diagnose except some uh, aberration. You take some uh, cold medicine, medicine for cold, fe fever, this and that. So I, again, that did not work. I went to an ENT. ENT also said nothing wrong, everything is fine. He also gave me a clean chit. So I was hoping against hope. It was nothing but, I never thought that it would be a cancer problem. By the time when I reached Manipal Hospital, it was stage 4. Then I landed up with Amit Rautar and uh, the journey continued since then. Then I had uh, some... Uh, <coughs> it was fortunately for me, it was only in that place. There was no metast metastasis. It did not spread to any part of the body. It was simply lying here, like a baby. So I was holding it. So doctor said that uh, for me, only a targeted treatment can be given because I was a bit late. The sense that I have lost that initial period of time, which if I had come before, it would have helped him to take me to a different course of treatment. No, but so he subjected me to targeted therapy. Then the journey of a little, it went a little bad to worse and became almost uh, unconscious and I could not take my treatment. I was feeling that I was sinking. So I was admitted to the hospital for about 21 days here in 2018. So journey was very, very tough. Uh, but I was not losing hope. And uh, my fortunately, my family stood behind me like a rock of Gibraltar. Three uh, daughters and sons-in-law turned to stay with me and see that I was out of danger. We en en engaged an attendant for me and he was helping us, helping me <coughs> to go on, uh, for, on a walk and all that. So that helped me to recoup my strength. Then I started doing my routine things like swimming and I, I purchased one cycle for myself and started doing cycles. I was a swimmer right from my school days. I used to swim across the Kaveri River during my college days. And I was also a regatta member. I used to <coughs> row boats. I had to, because I had to listen to my children. And uh, they advised me not to venture into any of this. So I'm holding back, but I will definitely go back to swimming in another way once the Winter cuts down, summer starts in Bangalore. I'll go to swimming. I'll definitely do it. And also, I think I will take the cycling also. I will not give up. I am now 76 eh? and enjoying my retired journey, attending meetings for my office as and when they call. It's going.